She has an open mind yet. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. Who's this from? Adam. <laughs> I can't wait, Adam. Okay. It's a rock. Um, a symbol of timelessness and solidity. Like a marriage. A wedding rock? Where do you buy a wedding rock? I think it's sweet. An original. And handy. She can use it when she does the laundry down by the river. <laughs> it's heavy, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a nice sign. Be gentle. It might break it. Don't put it in the punch, okay? Here we go. All right, here's a beautiful one. Oh, who's this from? Uh, Sarah, uh, don't bother opening that one. It's for me. It's another opener. You have enough openers to open your own opener store. <laughs> I'll exchange it, huh? For a rock, then they won't fight over who gets to play with the first one. Oh, this one I've been looking at. It's very beautiful, and I have an idea who it's from. Yes, Dina. Oh, <laughs> showers are dumb. I just hope we're spared that magic moment when someone starts to read what Sarah's been saying, like that's what she's going to say on our wedding night. Oh, it's so pretty and shiny. Oh, I didn't know that they made that in my silver pattern. Just watch. Some dummy's going to do that. Good luck, Sarah. Why am I wishing them luck? They've already lived together longer than most people stay married. <laughs> Dina, what's wrong? Uh, no, 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 Do I look like something's wrong? <laughs> yes. How about coming home and having dinner with me? We can talk about how nothing is wrong. Karen, indigestion never solved anything. <laughs> you have something better to do? Tonight? Are you kidding? Tonight, Roger Mudd is sitting in for Walter Cronkite. <laughs> so you come home with me? Of course. Everybody? Everybody got punch? Hey, oh, I was supposed to tell myself, huh? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Everybody? To Sarah. 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 To me. <laughs> oh, here's something. What is it? Not sure. I think it used to be meat. You caught anything that still is something? Oh, here we go. A complete New England Chinese dinner. All I have to do is put it in hot water. Terrific. Hey, uh, the plates are behind you and the silver's in the drawer. You know, we'll have to replace Sarah. Friday's her last day. I know. I have uh, applicants coming in at 15-minute intervals tomorrow. I thought I would interview them and let you see the finalists. Boy, you're right on top of everything. Not like me. I belong in the fridge, along with the rest of the leftovers. Okay. You want to talk about it now or after I defrost the fortune cookies? Oh, with that whole wedding thing at the office. Depressing. Weren't you happy for Sarah? I was thrilled for Sarah. I'm always thrilled about other women's weddings. Karen, I am sick of being thrilled. Bernie's in town again. Oh, tomorrow night. Once again, the phantom of my opera returns. Well, when am I going to get to meet him? I only meet him twice a year. When he passes through. Through town, through my apartment, through my heart. The grand tour. Well, how can you never go to Colorado to see him? Well, he's busy. He's opening a second ski shop, he's building a condominium, he's developing real estate. 
He's married. <laughs> married? Oh, yes. It's your basic American tacky. Traveling husband, out-of-town woman, and the don't make a hickey on his neck blues. <laughs> you never say he was married. Well, it's not something you have made into a bumper sticker. <laughs> Ten years ago, I went out to Aspen to learn how to ski. Barney was my instructor. To this day, I don't know how to ski. <laughs> but ten years of that is enough. I'm not the other woman I used to be. You gonna end it? I never should have let it start. Ten years. If it goes on much longer, we'll be sneaking around Sun City. Uh, Mr. Kelleher, why would you like to be a volunteer for Open America? Well, like, I'm very into this whole citizens' lobby scene, you know. And... Open America. It like, uh, it, uh, it sends out good vibes, eh? Yes. Well, we try. Yeah. Well, like, it's, it's warm here. You know, and like, like the black thing, you know, back in the 60s. See, I can relate to that. Because, like, it's peace and love, you eh? dig? Mm-hmm. You know, well, we're seeing more people, so, uh, we'll let you know. Oh, yeah. Hey, fair enough. And, like, I could dig it if you took a brother or a Chicano, you know, or, like, somebody who's gay. Because, like, hey, this is America, right? Right. We'll keep our eyes open. Okay, hey, peace. <laughs> Adam, I'm uh, ready for Mrs. Collins now. Okay. Mrs. Collins? Hmm. Hello, Open America, Karen Angelo. Uh, just a minute, please. Dina, on one. Dina Madison. Yeah, okay, Louise. Are you Karen? Yes. I'm Wendy Collins. Oh, hi, Wendy. Hi. Oh, won't you sit down? <clears throat> Is it, uh, Mrs. Collins? Yes, very Mrs. Mm hmm And you have three children. I think the phrase is three lovely children. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to work in Open America? I think the phrase is three lovely children. <laughs> I want to spend some time in a place where nobody's wet. <laughs> And, and, well, how many hours uh, could you give us a day? Well, I take the kids to school at nine, and I pick them up at three. That's six whole hours without Twinkies or Ding Dong. <laughs> Hello, Open America. Hi, Varney. Well, thank you very much for coming in. We'll give you a call, one way or the other. And you sound like my gynecologist. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. <laughs> no, I can't leave now. It's too busy here. You'll have to take a taxi in from the airport. Won't you sit down? Mr. Pike? Uh, it's Captain Pike. United States Navy retired. Sorry, Captain Pike. I'm Karen Angelo. It's Angelo, when do I start? Start? Oh, well, we won't decide who starts until we meet. Oh, we. Committees, meetings, think tanks. And what's it brought us? Fluoridation and petting above the waist. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> well, how many uh, hours a day could you give us? Twenty-four. Oh, whatever it takes to get this country back on course again. Just take a look around. The government's spending money faster than they can print it. Everybody's smoking that stuff that makes them crazy. And nobody knows the words of the Star Spangled Banner. You understand this is volunteer work. It doesn't pay anything. The Navy pays me for being retired. And you realize that, um, well, volunteer work mostly involves telephones, mail, Looking stamps. Don't confuse retirement with senility. <laughs> You'll never find me dialing the stamps or licking the phone. <laughs> Do I get this job or not? Well, we won't be deciding that for a day or so, but we will notify you. Sure. But it takes you as long to make up your minds as it does the government. But I notify my next of kin. <laughs> Barney, you and I have to talk. No, not on the phone. Yes, it's important. Face-to-face -face important. Okay, dinner. Yeah. I'll meet you at the... I'll meet you at the pub. Seven. So Alfie gets mad and he challenges Jean-Pierre to a race down the steep hill with lots of moguls. What? Uh, moguls. Uh, bumps, honey. I keep forgetting you don't ski. Do you keep forgetting why I don't ski? 
<laughs> anyway, they hit the first mogul. Jean-Pierre crashes and he breaks his collarbone. That's the funny part. <laughs> Alfie sees Jean-Pierre go down. He starts laughing. He crashes and he breaks his leg in two places. You guys must be the life of the emergency ward. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's different in the mountains. It's more fun. You ought to try it. Oh, sure. Your wife and I could build snowmen together. Well, why don't we just talk about the two of us, hmm? Barney, the trouble with the two of us is that we're the three of us. You, me, and Barbara. That's one more than your average couple. You knew from the very first that I was married. I never lied to you. True. You're probably the most honest, unfaithful husband I know. But it's been ten years now, Barney, and the only time I see you is when the snow melts. I have to keep reminding myself I'm having an affair. It's more like having a sexy pen pal. There are nights when I want to call you just to hear your voice, because sometimes I don't even remember what it sounds like. But I can't call. Barbara might answer. What would I say? Hello, wife? This is the lipstick on his collar. I can't do that. I always hated Joan Crawford for doing that. So I don't call. And you don't call, and... I don't want it to be like this anymore. Neither do I. That's why I'm here. Dana, I want you to marry me. Three, four, five, six. Lay off! Go directly to unemployment, do not pass payday, do not collect severance checks. I like the old games better. We just went to jail. Ah. Mm. Mm. Milk. You have milk? No, I have meat and bread. Milk's for sale. Five dollars a quart. I hate this game. In just a moment, we'll return to tonight's movie of the week, Five Up. Boring. Are they getting desperate? Four people trapped in an overturned golf cart? <laughs> Don't cheat. Double! I'm on a layoff! Uh, hi! Come on hi. in! Am I interrupting anything? No, no, no. Come on in. Look who's here. Hi, Dina. Sissy. Well, I have to talk to you. Oh, no, wait, Sissy. Don't go. This concerns you, too. I wonder if I could stay here tonight. Yeah, sure. We'll make up the couch. Thanks. Now you can go. This doesn't concern you. Oh, uh, Sissy, I'm sorry. I'm a little short on nights tonight. That's okay. I'll be in my room, holding a glass against the wall. <laughs> Barney's at my place. I just didn't feel right about staying there under the circumstances. Had you talk, huh? He asked me to marry him. He wants me to move to Colorado. Well, what about his wife? I don't think we'd be sharing the kitchen, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Divorce? I think in cases where the groom is already married, lawyers recommend that sort of thing. Yeah. It stinks, doesn't it? No. I think it makes sense. A lot of crummy things make sense. Dina, divorce is no big deal. It happens every day. Oh, sure. You read it in the papers. Divorce, earthquakes, all the good news. For what it's worth, Barney says the divorce is on whether I marry him or not. Well, then it's not like you're stealing him. It's not the stealing that bothers me. It's all that borrowing I did. It's not just the pigs in power. It's the pigs who put those pigs in power. Motor pigs! They're just as bad as the power pigs! Pigs, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lakeland, I'm sorry. I'm afraid... This is not the attitude we're looking for here at Open America. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, open America? I'll give you Open America. I'll blow Open America! Put a hole right in the middle of the country! No, you won't. You're not going to blow up anything. And you're certainly not going to work here. Now just... Bug off! <laughs> talk? All you do is talk here. All talk. No bombs. Talk pigs. Talk, 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 and no boom, boom, boom! <laughs> Dana? Karen? Please. I don't like the sound of that. A please? There are a couple of words that just don't pop out of Dale Bush's mouth. 
One of them is orgy and the other is please. <laughs> please! <laughs> Dina, do you recall scheduling me to speak before the Trade Union Council? Yes, this morning. How'd it go? I don't know. I wasn't there. Someone forgot to tell me about it. Any idea who that someone is? Oh, someone is very sorry. Well, she should be. Now, the union's a matter of this. The plumbers will be in here clogging the drains. <laughs> what about the replacement for Sarah? Well, I'm still interviewing. We're not auditioning for the Secretary of State. All we need is a body, someone to lick stamps. Not even a body, just a tongue. <laughs> You're wrong, Mr. Bush. What? We want someone who'll get bored looking stamps and maybe get involved. You're right. That's the kind of a volunteer we should get. Someone who cares. Somebody who'll fight back when they're right. I've already found him. But why isn't he here? Well, I didn't know if you'd like him. Do you like him? Yes. No. Well, I mean, he's not what you'd call likable. Well, you've certainly got nothing to hide. <laughs> right. If he cares, if he's concerned... He is. Well, then get him in here. Maybe he'll make up for those of us whose minds are out to lunch. <laughs> I do not have to take that stuff from that man. I know. I have devoted many years of my life to that man. I do not deserve that stuff. I know. So I forgot to tell him about one speech. What about all the speeches I did tell him about? What about everything I tell him about? I know. No, you don't know. Karen, I tell that man things no one knows. I tell him when to get a haircut. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Of course, no one knows. If it weren't for me, that man would have hair down to his socks. <laughs> Dina, maybe Mr. Bush isn't mad at you. He might have had a fight with Mrs. Bush. It happens sometimes. You men have trouble at home and then they take it out on the people at work. What is that, a quote from Freud goes to the office party? You know what I mean. Yeah. So why am I at the office taking that stuff when I could be at home giving that stuff? <laughs> Maybe there's more to marrying Barney than learning how to ski. Yeah? You barked? I just checked with the National Trade Union Council. They say I could speak to them this afternoon. But that means canceling Senator Burgess. Cancel Senator Burgess. No, 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 don't cancel him. You see him. It's a lost cause anyway. Thanks. See you, Senator Burgess. While you're up on the hill, check with Congressman Harwell. Find out why his committee is dragging its feet on seniority. Then it was something else. Dad, I forget it. Uh, Mr. Bush. Yes? You are addressing the governor's dinner tonight. 8.30, black tie. Ah! That's it! Here. Have this pressed. It's my tux. My chicken out of king uniform. <laughs> Barney, uh, I can't meet you for lunch. Dale Bush just hit the fan. Oh, yes. I've been thinking about it, and I do want to talk. Okay, why don't you pick me up here tonight? Bye. This is our membership file. It has the names and addresses of all the members of Open America in alphabetical order. You know, A through Z. Even in the old Navy, we knew the alphabet. <laughs> oh, Adam, I'd like you to meet our new volunteer, Captain Pike. Captain Pike, Adam Cooperman. He's with us on an internship program. Intern? You a doctor? Oh, no, that means he's a student. He gets college credit for working here. I'm a political science major. Political science? What science is that of politics? It's like astrology. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Political science is the study of voter trends and, and economic influences and, and demographics. Son, whoever gets the most votes, that's political science. <laughs> Stand up straight. That's why the Lord gave you a spine. All right, we'll go over the phone setup now. Hmm? Oh, you're going to teach me how to dial a phone? No, but we do have a few rules. Now, we log all our calls. See, time of the call who made the call, what the call was about, and what we did about the call. Until 5 a.m., Anonymous suggested what President could do with his wind buttons. 
gave her White House number, notified Secret Service. Yeah, I guess I can handle that. Now, when we make long-distance telephone calls... Wonderful response from the Union. They're urging their members to support Open America. Union. The death of the free enterprise system. Uh, Mr. Bush, this is the new volunteer I was telling you about this morning. Pike. Captain Pike. U.S. Navy retired. Bush. Dale Bush. U.S. Army. Draft. Drafty. No wonder you make deals with labor unions. Open America doesn't make deals, Captain. We welcome the support of anybody who believes this country belongs back in the hands of the people. But we don't make deals. Good. You see, he's not as fuzzy as the rest of you. You've got the right idea, and I want to come aboard. We welcome your support. And you have got it, sir. Starting first thing in the morning. I have to go home now and wake Mother from her nap. Excuse me. Dina's done it again. Gather round, troops, for a few reasons why some little girl is going to grow up to be president. Are you drunk? Well, maybe a little, but you should see Senator Burgess. Senator Lemoyne Burgess, a man devoted to bringing back slavery, has agreed to support our legislation for tougher equal rights laws. Oh, that's amazing. After thinking it over, he's willing to consider the possibility that women are human beings. I'm not sure I can believe that. Oh, you underestimate the senator's weakness for a lady's knee and bourbon in the afternoon. <laughs> and Congressman Harwell's committee will open hearings on reforming the seniority system. No knees or bourbon for that, just old-fashioned yelling and screaming. And so you don't think I've forgotten that a woman's place is in the dry cleaners. One freshly pressed tuxedo. Oh, uh, excuse me. Busy day, huh? Oh. I've never seen you work before. You seem very good at it. Well, you saw one of the highlights. You should catch me when I'm scrubbing out the coffee urn. <laughs> Barney, I can't marry you. Dina, you can work in Colorado, too. I, I'm opening that ski shop. You can run it for me. No, this is my town, Barney, and it's the kind of work I do. Oh, and it's, it's not just the work. It's us, the three of us. You, me, and the patter of your wife's little feet. I want you to be my wife. Second wife. The second stringer you bring off the bench because the game's getting dull. Now, you know that's not how it is. That's how it's been, Barney. That's how it's been to me for the last ten years. And I'm not very proud of it. Dina! Where are you? It's his feeding time. <laughs> Go home, Barney. Divorce is for people who don't have anything better to do with their lives. You do. And so do I. Dina, I love you. I love you, too. What the hell's that got to do with anything? Captain Pike speaking. Uh, yes? Oh. Well, you may rest assured, madam, I will take care of that matter personally. Yes. And thank you for calling Open America. Goodbye. And I do. Perfect. See? Logged it and everything, just like you told me. 9.37 a.m., Captain Pike's sister called to say he left his lunch at home. We'll take care of it personally. Second time for lunch. <laughs> 